Welcome back team, I'm Juliet and today we're doing 30 minute full body stretch workout. We're going to be using our blocks, our pads, straps or towels. If you're new to my channel, welcome and make sure to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell button so you don't miss our daily workouts. Guys, I will guide you through all the modifications even if you are a beginner and let's start this workout together. Alright guys, we will begin today's workouts in a seated position. So let's sit down and make sure that we sit comfortably on the both seat bones. So go ahead and just pull those glutes out and reach with me all the way up, up towards the ceiling, lengthening that spine, drop the shoulders, root those seat bones guys into the floor and gently, slowly just as a tiny, tiny lateral bend. Remain the spine neutral, remain the both seat bones seated and engaged with the ground. Other side, guys, on exhalation. Good, long extended arms. Slowly fold halfway through. Just try to keep, again, your form on the back reach. And on exhalation, take it back. Give me one more time, guys. Reach, keep the arms long and extended. And on exhalation, fully bring your hands on the floor. Now, it could happen that you need to use your strap just like I have today, you can use that and continue to hold rather than drop the shoulders. I really, guys, need you to fold forward through the hip flexor. And let's hold it for a few counts in order for the stretch to really give you all the benefits which it's supposed to give, we have to hold it from four to eight counts at least, guys. And just a breath or two. Come on back up and this time, guys, from the seated position, take your hands all the way to the side and just give the gentle first half spinal twist. Just look on one side and then go ahead, take yourself to the other direction. And again, it's just a gentle twist. It's not super deep or super low twist. Just make sure it feels right on your back. Now come back to the center and bend with me, guys, your right leg. From here, you might need to adjust a little bit, take it front or a little bit more farther away and see, guys, if you can reach the leg, extended leg. And hold with me, guys, for a few counts. On exhalation, allow your body to dive a little bit, a little bit deeper. And we hold, guys, four. Three and two, give the good quality exhale into the hips. Come on back up, back, 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 back. Go ahead and grab that knee and try to sit up and tall. Sometimes if you have a back injuries, even to sit up and tall can be a quite challenging. And just a couple more breaths and go ahead and turn all the way outside the knee. Look behind guys, the left shoulder, level your shoulders. Soft spinal rotation through the lower back, guys. And hold for it forward. And three. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Take it back and we're gonna go, at least we're gonna try to go to the outside rotation. If that is not there, do not worry about it. Just hold the knee, support yourself with the right hand and make sure you don't do this, right? But if that's available for a little bit deeper twist for you, that's awesome. Through the nose in, in through the nose out, guys. Give your body a good stretch without the breathing. Without the breathing, that stretch is gonna be very difficult. And let's go ahead and finalize on this leg by pulling that leg behind. This is not for everyone. Some of you would need to put that leg inside. And that is totally fine. You might also put it slightly wider or put it right by the left knee. Readjust your sitting position and fold forward, guys, with me. We're going to give it a good quality stretch one more time. Back is extended, guys. Navel pulled in. Try to support that long extended back again. Try to bring that kneecap on the left towards the floor. And you don't have to be low. I would rather you to stay. Stay four. 
then go down with a very, very rounded back. In just a couple more breaths, press or two. Feels so good. Very nice. Let's go ahead and switch our legs. So from this side, let's first reach all the way up and fold for the seated forward fold, just to give an evenness to the back. And then pull, guys, your left leg up. It could be that you need to go a farther, closer, see where your body stands. Immediately pull the glutes out and make sure that you sit nice and equal on the both sit bones. See if you can reach your right foot. If not, I'm going to show you that little trick with the strap, right? You're simply going to use any towel, any strap you have. And rather than fold forward to the shoulders, you will sit tall and pull on that strap until your back will let go eventually. And let's hold it, guys, for a few more extra breathing cycles. Four, and three, it feels so, so, so good. And two, and come on back up. So from here, guys, go ahead and look behind the right shoulder first. Try not to overly bring the one shoulder up and another down. It's just a soft, neutral half spinal twist. Level your shoulders, stay tall, breathe. It's a gentle rotation in the waistline. And see if you can look behind this right shoulder a little bit farther. And then slowly, guys, take back yourself to the center. We're gonna go and look behind the opposite. For some of us, it would be just this position to sit. For some of you, you would be able to put an elbow and align your arm all the way on top, the outer thigh. Push against the floor, level your shoulders. It doesn't have to be super deep. And let your body just melt all the stress away. All the stress away. And hold it, guys. Four more counts. Three, just a few extra breaths. And two. And come back up to the center. Let's take this left behind. You might open it. You might put it up front. So whatever your body allowed you to do today. So pull the glutes out. Make sure that you sit nice and tall first before you go forward. Grab the strap around the foot and continue to fall. That can be challenging in this position. So I just encourage you to give it a try. The next exhalation, descend. If you need to come back, return. So just a few extra breathing cycles. In through the nose, out through the nose. With a quiet, soft breathing, your body will relax faster and more effectively. All the way. Good job. Let's slowly pull this leg out, guys. Take it all the way up front. And we're gonna go one more time for seated forward fold. Just fold over those legs, guys. If you can't, you consider to use a strap or towel and then you're gonna pull on it, pull on it closer and closer. And each and every session, your body will become more flexible. So reach up, open the chest and fold forward over those legs again. Just a couple breaths, extra breaths in four, in three, in two, come on back up. We're gonna make a gentle transfer on our knees. Take your wrist, elbow, and shoulder, one on top of another. And we're gonna move to the lower back, upper back and middle back. So simple, but super effective flow, cat and cow flow. Such an amazing for that back, for the shoulders, for the elbows and wrists even. So let's give it a few more. Try to express fully, guys, through that back. Don't hurry up. If your body asking you to stay a little bit longer here and to stay a little bit longer here with a rounded back, just do it, guys. Just do it. We're going to turn this flow to the hips, to the heels. Forehead on the floor, through the top of your body, over the hands or all the way when your wrist elbow shoulder is stuck. So just be aware and be mindful. Make sure 
if you go up front here this is not looking like this right it has to be open spacious and nothing is hurting if your wrist is hurting take your hands slightly farther away or you can just stop on your knees plank on your knees you don't have to flow all the way up here that's your stop point or you can go all the way back now let's add the neck a little bit if that's available and inhalation exhalation my friends all the way flow forward express with the heart and shoulders let your body to breathe fully let's do a few more times up over in forward guys express with the heart let your head go in back guys one more time inhalation exhalation all the way good work express 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 go on your elbows if you have to and slowly guys rock your hips on one side extra half spinal twist on the other side and let's do one more from each side extra on this side and extra on this side very nice coming back slowly to the center to the tabletop guys and from here reach your right arm all the way up and open and draw this arm behind your back or even towards the opposite inner thigh if that is available push against the inner thigh if it's hand if that hand is there or hold your hand behind the back continue to open guys four and three and two slowly send your hips guys on your heels take the arm off the back or off the inner side if you have to or go ahead and dive fully we're gonna spend here a few breaths good quality stretch guys for the shoulders for the back all the way come on back up we're gonna repeat this thing from the other side we will take our left up and open soft rotation through the waistline first then go ahead and take that hand behind your back or towards the inner thigh on the right continue to open first express through the ribcage and then slowly gently see if it's there sit your hips on your feet and draw the right arm underneath the left it might not be available for everyone but that is okay all we're doing we keep working on our flexibility to make this better and just enjoy the flow guys enjoy the process rather try to be perfect from here tuck your toes we're gonna go for the downward facing dog or upside down v very effective straight for the calves for the hamstrings for the back for the shoulders each and every cell in the body working press your hands guys into the floor bend your knees if you're very beginner but try guys to keep that back very long and very soft and neutral bend your knees your back is your priority your knees will extend when it's needed to be extended let's step guys our left foot in the middle right is going to top the toes behind and shift your hips even farther back you're going to feel it an extreme stretch in the left calf muscle or achilles even moving towards your hamstring breathe 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 don't forget to express through the shoulder blades take it back now this time your right is going to go in the center and your left is going to go crisscross top in the floor push the weight back guys you're gonna feel it in the right calf a lot and right achilles muscle and drop your head guys forward three and two take it all the way back and walk guys with me to the plank position from this plank position rock your heels all the way on the left and express give that good quality stretch through the side plank four guys three two and all the way back to the other side if you need to bring your knees on the floor definitely do that reach all the way big straight big beautiful straight arm over the head take it all the way back walk back to the downward facing the upside down v reach your 
right leg up all the way and step guys forward to your low lunge i would recommend everyone to get those pads just in case you have them those are awesome tools for the knees and for the elbows and for restorative stretching yoga and pilates that's just must because we're holding our exercises our asanas and poses a little bit longer from here guys make sure that your front knee above the front ankle back knee on the pad or on the towel because we're going to be holding it for a longer time use your blocks remember i always encourage you to use that support up here if you have to sometimes without support it's going to look like that and it will many times because your hips don't feel good up here they try to those hips are trying to get out of uncomfortable position but that's not going to give you that good stretch in what we're looking for so i want you to be low up here let the upper body take the weight through using the gravity through the lower body but you have to use the tools if you have you have to breathe guys in through the nose out through that nose if you can let's slowly draw our left hand guys on the floor push against the inner part of your right knee and just open up the hip flexor a little bit more we're gonna give it a press or two up here keep on rotating through the torso through the waistline breathe guys just a couple more breaths good job all the way guys let's bring the weight towards the left leg right now your right knee extended i mean if it's possible right you can use the blocks to elevate your position and if you can't do it without blocks definitely use it if you don't need to use the blocks just hands on the floor long extended back and we gently 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 releasing the belly towards that quadricep breathe guys in through the nose out through that nose take your left hand on the floor open it up big bold straight just lift it and open reestablish shoulder on the left stack on top another very nice and let's slowly return it back to the low lunge guys returning back to the low lunge we're gonna work on the left quadricep muscle can be super tight especially if you did all workouts with me through the week our strength classes hit classes a lot of classes not as much but still so go ahead and catch up on that ankle guys you can also use your strap and just catch up on the ankle that way that's a good solution that's another way how you're going to be using that strap or towel if you don't have to use it catch up on the ankle but try to avoid this position guys i want you to lean forward i want you seriously to lean forward so you can feel the quad recep muscle on the left if you up here you're not gonna feel the front side at all so you have to lean forward and the more you lean leaning forward the more you're gonna feel that quad and that's sometimes really not feeling good it's very tight plus if you're a runner or a biker that's even worse guys keep on breathing you're working with heavy weights all the time that's also right there flexibility is must guys breathe four and three and two and good job all the way guys let's counter stretch it let's go ahead and make sure that that knee pad underneath release your toes and fall down up here go and work all the way just lay forward make sure you feeling good that's it at the very end we're gonna do uh, partially or fully the split when the practice i'll give you a few tips uh, or you can just go back to your lizard so let's take this pad off and get back on your knees tuck your toes all the way downward facing dog or your upside down v from pilates 
lift your heels, straight your toes and Achilles and press into the toes, feels so good. Then send your left leg up guys, all the way. We're gonna repeat this flow what we just did from the other side. Go ahead guys and step all the way. Get that knee pad if you have to. It's hard to focus on relaxation in the hips and back and shoulders if your knee is in tension, it hurts. Use the blocks, guys. Front knee above the front ankle. Release your toes and just give yourself a few soft, extended breathing cycles so you can start to let the upper body weight to melt through those hips. Let your body know it's safe. Use your blocks, right? We're gonna give it a few more. In through the nose, out through that nose, and then slowly send, guys, your left hand on the floor, your right hand on the floor, and bring your left inside the left knee. Give it a tiny, gentle push, guys. If that doesn't work really well for you today, just stay up here and maybe support yourself with the both hands, focusing on the groin area, the hips and the lower back. If you can, go ahead and give it a little push and push on exhalation, of course. We're doing it for four, three, and two. Very, very nice. And take it gently back down. We're going to switch our weight, guys, towards the right leg. Try to keep your left knee extended and gently descend, fold forward again. The same principles for the hip flexor all the way down. We're going to give it a press or two before we go for that gentle half spinal twist rotation up here. Four, guys, in three and two take it back up take your right hand on the floor left is gonna go up all the way beautiful straight to the side and hold it guys for a couple more breaths very nice let's gently return back and we're gonna work guys on the quadricep check your knee pad up there so you focus on the Quadricep muscle running from groin area to your knee. Catch up on the ankle on the right. Use your strap if you have to. Try not to stay up here. I need you to lean forward so you feel that straight in your right quad. Keep on breathing. The lower you go in and the closer you pull in your ankle towards the glute, the more challenging that quadricep stretch becomes. Keep on breathing through the nose in, through the nose out. Sometimes I even like to go deeper on my elbow. So up here, go ahead, go ahead, breathe, guys. Through, good job. Take it slowly back, very good job. Make sure that your knee pad, guys, staying all the way underneath your knee. Release your toes, fold forward. We will combine in this straight, our lower back, our hamstrings, in our Achilles. Breathe, guys, all the way settle. There is nothing to worry about. As long as you're doing those straightening exercises, there is no choice for the body. The body will get more flexible pretty soon, but you have to be consistent at least a couple times a week, at least a couple times a week. You should get on your mat and do your stretches in at least 30 minutes on those days, right? But the more you can do it, the better. We always try to stick with few stretches after the workouts, but those are not enough. Come on back up, take your pad, hold the way. Return guys back with me, hold the way to your upside down V position. Both hands flat on the floor, drop the head. Very nice. From here guys, we're gonna land the knees on the floor again, use your knee pads. Take your left foot up front, this time knee, ankle 90 degrees. We will take our right hand, send it to the right heel or use the block. Try to rotate your heart, turn it up towards the ceiling. 
lower back, middle back, express through the heart. Breathe, guys. Do not hold your breath. Do not hold your breath. Three, two, and one. Take it all the way back. Let's slowly take this left. Put it all the way to the side towards the right. Beginners, keep that knee down. Intermediate and advanced. See if you can take that knee for the simple pigeon pose. So again, you don't have to go low. Just try to fold forward through that hip flexor. It just will give it a few extra breaths, guys. Four and three and two. Relax your toes and ankles. Relax, guys, those toes and ankles. Come back. Back on your knees. Now take your right up front for the one leg up front camel pose. So make sure you're stable. Take your left on your left or on the block. See if you can level your shoulders, express with the chest, and open up, guys. Just make sure you are not holding your breath, guys. Four and three and two and all the way back to the center guys take your right towards the left and all the way rotate the back knee under or keep this out slowly fold forward my friends if you can go as low on this leg, always find the balance, compare and see which side is more flexible so you can pay attention where you have to, to balance your body. And guys, slowly fold even deeper. We're just gonna give it a couple more extra breaths. Four, and three, and two, and come on back guys with me, back on your kneeling position. We're gonna try our splits or we're gonna go just a half weight over them. Extend your knees and take your right leg up. Step forward, beginners. Go ahead and just sit yourself on your block. And that can be your long way to go position. But that is a very effective way to begin your journey for the split. You can also take it a higher so you don't have constantly to fight and everyone else guys just be where you can be today leave your knee till the very last thing just work with your hips just a few extra movement right and left we're not gonna stick here for long today so just find the position which you can hold without the pain and then if that a little bit more that you can go today then back off or come with me guys we're gonna give it a few breaths just a few breath splits require some time, but using the blow, guys, would help you a lot. Let's take it back. Come on up with me. Upside down V, bend your knees. Right, left. Big breath. Take your left leg up, team, and step forward. Again, use your block. Sit on that and rest as long as you need, as many sessions as you need, guys. Then you will reduce the block to the other side, to a little bit lower position. Use your knee pads, guys, underneath that back knee. Stay where you can and use some time, guys. We're going to hold it for a few breaths to get ready, to get used to. If you're practicing with me today, that split, go ahead. If you're new to that, then just, guys, use that block. That's going to be your first step for the good quality split. Keep on breathing through the nose in, and guys, through the nose out. Just a breath or two, and let's slowly pull this leg back away. Take your hands, guys, on the floor, and give your body a few circling motions, one direction, and another direction after those splits. Good job. Excellent. Come on back to the center on your knees or just sit straight on your seat bones. Let's go ahead and take the arms up all the way. Nice and lock arms. Take your right hand behind the shoulder blades, guys. 
pull a little bit, push on top on the elbow, not on the elbow itself, but slightly above. That's good. And do the same from the other side. Gentle push right on top and hand goes in between your shoulder blades. You're gonna feel it in your tricep, especially if you've been doing all of our classes this week. Come on back to the center, take your both hands behind and long and lengthen in all the way. Four guys, three and two. And lateral bend, press your hand into the floor and shift the hips slightly more towards the right. And on exhalation, switch all the way. Big reach, big stretch, chest up and open. And take it all the way back. Reach all the way up. Exhalation, let it go. And great, great, great job, everyone. I'm so proud of you. We're getting stronger and stronger every single day. Rest well, recover well, stay hydrated. And tomorrow we're going to start a new strong week. I will see you tomorrow, team.